Hey YouTube, Nick here with a quick video showing my Nordic Track ACT elliptical hack. Basically the tensioner stopped working on my elliptical so I was getting zero resistance while working out and I traced the issue back to the main board and I didn't want to replace the main board or buy a brand new elliptical so to get around that I just hooked a 9 volt battery permanently up to my motor to adjust the tension that way. So if you look down here, I basically cut a hole in the side of the casing and fed the motor cable out through that. The yellow and blue wires are just hooked up to positive and negative on the, on the motor. And then that runs back to this little black box that I made out of a Tupperware container just to house everything. So all I have here is a double pull, double throw switch. It's got forward, reverse, and just the center position and then just a little push button switch here to actually activate it. So if I push this button, you should hear the motor or the resistance um, being adjusted. And that little kind of clunk that you hear, that's basically the tensioner hitting max tension and then it just kind of resets itself. So I found that it doesn't matter if you have this in going one way or the other, if it's going forward or reverse, it still adjusts the tension and then just kicks over. I don't know if you'll if you try to do this, if you'll have the same results as me, but that's what I found. If I flip this over here, it's super easy. Basically, I got my cheap little 9 volt Rayovac hooked up to the uh, double pull, double throw switch, and then the push button switch in there. That's all. That's all I have. So, if you have any questions on the wiring, there are videos that show you how to use a double pull, double throw switch, but if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in, in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Bye.